Good morning, guys. Oh, I have been a bad vlogger. I have not really vlogged at all this week. Um, I today is Friday. I haven't even edited the vlog for today. Um, yeah. Just, just, just. Uh, but right now, I just woke up. I just did my guided prayer. I've made 150 days, guys. Today is 151 um, of my faith journey. 150 days of my faith journey. No secular music. Um, doing guided prayer every day. It hasn't been 150 days of reading the Bible, but it's probably been... I want to say a month of reading a Bible. 30 days. About 30... 30 to 45 days I would say of reading the Bible and I am currently in 2nd Samuel um, I'm reading it from front to back I'm reading it front to back and then I'm gonna read it in chronological order the way that they say we're supposed to read it uh, I'm gonna read the whole Bible take a break break from reading it for like a month or two and read some other books I have a lot of other um spiritual and motivational books that I want to read so I'll probably read those over the next few months like I have quite a few books that I have not read yet and there's some books up there um that I have on my little makeshift bookshelf on top of my AC up there um that I'm actually gonna go up there within the next few days and throw away I'm actually gonna throw them away because they're from people that I no longer watch. They're from people, you know, and I stopped watching them before I even got on my faith journey. Like, there's um, a book by the Kardashian sisters from Kris Jenner, Tori Spelling, um, James Patterson. I'm going to keep Little Women. Um, that's a classic. Uh, there's still quite a few books up there that I'm just not going to read. So I'm going to go and take them and I'm going to go put them in the book nook that we have in our neighborhood. A little, looks like a little, like a big birdhouse or a big mini house with a door that opens and there you can, it's like give a book, take a book type of thing. Um, I see them popping up everywhere though. Um, and I, um, I probably will take them over there because... Or I'll put them in my mail house because y'all know we have the little building for our mail. Or I'll probably, the last time I did give some books away, I put them in a basket there and I put free take, please take. So I'll, maybe I'll do that again. Um, so I'll probably do that with those. And there's, I think there's a few down here too that I have right behind me, right there, that I'm going to go through as well. Because <clears throat> there's some stuff in there that I'm not going to read anymore, so... But anywho, I am going to get to reading my Bible and I have the rest of my inventory coming in today so I'll probably do some displays later depending on what time those show up. Um, but good morning guys. Welcome to the vlog. And don't mind my hair. Like I literally just woke up like all I did was brush my teeth. Like <coughs> all I did was brush my teeth this morning. So welcome to the vlog. Good morning. If you're new, hey, I'm Crystal. Um, make sure y'all are subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get uploaded whenever I upload a video. And um, comment down below if you're new and where you're from. I love to meet new people. So comment that down below if you're new. Where are you from? Um, what to read? You don't have to put the city if you don't want to. You can just put the state. Um, and yeah, hopefully one day we get to all meet. But anywho, let me get back to god and i just wanted to say good morning to you guys hey guys it's hours later um but Turn right oh um, sorry my gps is gonna talk but um i'm on my way out to dinner with my sister we're going to this place called hot sake sushi bar or something sushi kitchen and bar or something so 
I'm on my way there. It says it's about 18 minutes away. Um, my daughter was supposed to come with us, but she told me this morning that she had a lot going on today, so she'll come. We will eat another day. So it's just me and my sister. Um, so you guys are getting back-to-back -back vlogs with me and my sister. Um, so in 2.3 miles, take the exit to merge onto I-43 North toward Lake Michigan Circle Tour. Yeah, so we always end up going to eat sushi. Y'all saw that last time I was with her. We went to Umi Sushi. Um, so this one is a new place that we, neither one of us ever been to it. We all, uh, She heard of it and I looked it up and it doesn't look too bad. So, um, so we're going to try it out, see how we like it. In 1.7 miles, take the exit to merge onto I-43 North toward Lake Michigan Circle Tour. It's a lot of construction people out here. But, but yeah, so we're going to try this place out, see how we like it. Um, I got some of my, I got mostly all of my display stuff in the mail right before I left, except for my balloon stuffing machine, which is the main thing that I want was waiting for. So it claims I would get it tomorrow or the next day. So it's the literally the only thing that's delayed. Um, so it is what it is. I'm not doing anything today anyway, because when I get home from dinner, I'm probably just gonna want to chill and watch a movie. Um, but tomorrow I can at least do some of my other displays until that balloon stuffing machine comes. I do have a balloon blower machine already that I can use for some of the balloons I have, but this one specifically, it inflates it, and while it's inflated, I can stick the stuff into it. You know, so it's use the right lane to take the exit machine. to merge onto I-43 North toward Lake Michigan Circle Tour. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a way better machine than to try to stuff stuff in there while it's not inflated. So, um, but anywho, it's rush hour traffic, so I am just gonna drive, and then I will see you guys at the restaurant. I am almost to the restaurant, y'all, but it's a train, so I'm stuck behind a train. Let me show y'all. I am, I am stuck behind a train. See. Yeah, so I don't know how long it's been going. I've noticed it once I got been once I noticed this section, it was already going. Yeah, I noticed it like when I was maybe like four or five blocks back there that cars were stopped over here. At first I thought it was a red light until I noticed the red was blinking. And then I realized it was a train. So I'm out here in the middle of the woods it's literally one tree that's like got um oh can I, let me see if i can show y'all look one tree is changing colors fall is amongst us look at that one single tree out of all this stuff one tree is turning red like not even over here all green in my neighborhood we got one red piece of tree like there's literally one massive branch at the bottom of the tree all the rest of the tree the foliage is green and it's one branch that's completely red oh hopefully this is the last of it because these carts are completely empty so i'm hoping that's the oh wait there's some tankers I made it guys, out, out with my, my sister again. I got lost y'all on the way here after I talked to y'all when I got stopped by the train. I came in the front because the restaurant, you know, was, I got super close to it, but I couldn't get around it, which was dumb. Uh, this is her fancy, what is this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it looked like a bottle, it looked like a, yeah, blue Hawaiian or something, but it looks so good. Oh, blue ocean. Blue ocean. What's in it? Uh, Tito's, blue curacao, triple sec, pineapple, and sweet and sour. Ooh. So basically a blue one. That looks that looks so good. <laughs> Um, we will see how this place looks. I mean, how the how the food is. I'll let y'all know when we get how it is. Man, we both we both didn't eat, anticipating us coming out to dinner. I had six little bitty pizza rolls at like eight o'clock this morning. So eight a.m. and it's five twenty-eight. That's all I had today. And what did what did you eat? I had for lunch. I had a uh, uh, crustable. Oh, uh, Uncrustable at about 11. 
at a, no, this morning. That was 11 o'clock this morning. And a banana. An Uncrustable and a banana all day. And a banana. And then we're going to have for lunch. We're going to eat some quinoa. Little yeah, I know a quinoa, but I'm like, like that's yeah. Yeah, from Target. yeah. That's but I'm saying like that's nothing. That's like all I had today. <laughs> that's that's just horrible. But that's how you know how like we anticipate going out to eat because we will wait a long time. We will wait. Because I told well, I told myself I'm like, uh, why are you gonna eat it? Cause like everybody got hungry at like two. I literally went like this and took a little bit of those shoestring potato chips and put them in my hand. That's what I had at two o'clock. Just to so calm my stomach down. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> but I was just like, why am I doing this to myself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's nice though. It's cute. It's cute. Like that's something I would put in my bathroom. Right. Put those along the bathtub, just light them up. But it's cute. Do you want to feel sexy to yourself? <laughs> put on some slow jazz. Slow jazz. Smooth jazz. Right. Be like uh 93.3. No, you'll be like um pretty woman when she when she put on his tie bacon. You never seen that movie. You never seen it? Nope, not that too entirely. You should. It's it's so good. I want I want I haven't watched it in a while, but it's, it's really good. If it's from the 80s, I ain't seen it. But you know, I'm an old Early school. 90s. I'm an old school head. When it comes to I need to set the camera like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like this? Great. Right. Happy answer. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Mom. Look, that's her attention span. You know how, how in the, you know, in the last vlog when we said she ain't got no attention span. I'm listening, but <laughs> she, we're talking and her eyes straight. went straight, went straight to the sushi. Thing. Well, what is that? They got like a flight of sushi. Dude, the the thing is about this line yeah. with sushi rolls. Like, oh, what, what is that? Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna continue, dog. Continue, dog. I'm watch, watch her. Y'all, my sister down in this ceviche. <laughs> when she don't talk, you know it's good. <laughs> We're not doing this left-handed and right-handed. Right. They gave us choices of cucumbers and chips. And she been going down on a cucumber. <laughs> and a banana leaf right here. With some purdy. Uh, I swear, me and my sister ordered for like five people because we ate the ceviche already that y'all saw. She had some miso soup, which I took a bite. Fried rice. I have the tempura platter. Some calamari, and she got what is that? I don't know. I don't know, but but y'all look, she got some octopus over there. Yeah, I want to try. Ooh, let me know. I'm curious. I'm nervous. I'm not nervous. Ooh, I'm excited. I wish they had. I wish they had two octopuses on there so I could try it. Right, it looks so good. Pour it in half. <laughs> Look at yeah. that, all them choices. They gave her a lot of the, uh, what's the name? Since she can't have wasabi. Yeah. I know, there's a lot over here. On, on ice, like that's crazy. But we about to, it's about to go, it's about to go down. It's about to go down <laughs> Right. Oh my gosh, I don't need to uh, not eat hours before going out to eat, especially to a place like that. I got so many leftovers. Like, I have so many leftovers. I am so full. I need a nap. I need a nap. But now I'm gonna go and face this traffic and figure out my way home. Hold up. My sister over here, she ain't even leave. She over here scratching scratch tickets. Sitting outside the car. Right, there you go. Hey, don't, I'm sorry, and I'm sitting here trying to use this phone. Look, let that dirty penny give you luck. 
Right. Okay, love you. Love you. See you later. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, y'all. Let's get home. My stomach is so full. Like, I am so full, y'all. I can't say that enough. I'm so full. Dang. That car did a such a such a close turn, but <sighs> okay, y'all. Let me drive and put on my GPS. Hey, y'all. It's like nine something. I'm tired. I'm tired. I just got off the phone with my mom. I was talking to her while she was walking home from work, and um. I got a notification on my phone that my last thing that I've been waiting for for my business, this stuffing machine has finally arrived and it's 9, 9.17 right now and it just got delivered. Yeah, now I should be able to finish the rest of my displays and then I can officially get to work. I'm so excited. I'm glad this finally came. I'm so tired, so I'm about to just take this out the big box so that way I can put this big box in the hallway and get it ready to go outside for tomorrow, take out to the garbage. Did you just walk into the box? Oh, Lord, my dog. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, just get this box, these boxes out the way and just go to sleep so I can knock tomorrow out. But I just wanted to get on here and tell y'all that it finally came. And this is a huge box. Let me show y'all. This is a big box. Like, this, this is my hand. Like, this is a huge box. <laughs> and y'all know they're infamous for putting a box inside of a box. So it's in here. <sighs> I'll show you guys once I take it out. <laughs> y'all, seriously, it's a third box. Really? <laughs> like oh my gosh one and two and i know if there's another box in there i'm a i'm a punch i'm a punch these boxes <laughs> oh my gosh that's ridiculous <laughs> okay that's it this is my hand so it's pretty big but what you do is you take the balloons they even gave some balloons here different types of balloons so you attach those here and you attach the hose to this and when you turn on the this inflator machine i actually have one and one also came with this and all i got two but you attach this hose right here to this thing and once you put the balloon on here it and turn it on the machine on it sucks the balloon and it fills it and it inflates it while it's in there in a reverse fashion from blowing it from the inside and then I stuff what I want to stuff in through there, tie off the end of the balloon, and I tie off the end of the balloon, and then I uh, tie off the end of the balloon, and then once that's tied off, then I uh, take the holes out, and there, oh, right here, I was about to say there's a release valve. I pick up this release valve, it move, takes the air out while the balloon is still inflated. It takes the air out the rest of the machine, so that way I can pop this off and then there you go with the filled balloon. But I mean, I explained it, but um, for social media pages, I record a lot of videos. So I have a lot of footage on my phone that I have for my business social media pages, which I will link below. And I actually put a lot of that in my on my social media pages versus my YouTube. I can do, I do have some horizontal footage, like YouTube style footage versus, you know, the other way that you record for social media. So I do have a few, but most of it is gonna be like on my TikTok, Instagram, stuff like that. So I will have my business stuff linked down below. Oh, but now that I got all this unboxed, I'm just gonna take all of this and put it in the hallway and take my butt to bed because I'm exhausted. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Yeah, y'all have a good night. I'll see you guys in a few seconds. <laughs> good morning, guys. How are you? Oh, I am just getting myself together. 
about to shower. Um, I uh, just want to do a little bit of something to my hair because I put like leave-in moisturizer like this and stuff like this in my hair from time to time. But I haven't really like oiled my scalp so I'm just going to wet my hair and oil my scalp. My hair is more, is better manageable when it's wet. So, oh, I don't care about it being too wet because I'm about to take a shower. Oh. I got some oil, but I'm going to put coconut oil. And then I also have... Okay. And I also got this oil. And I found it at Target. So, first I'm going to start out with some of this. And my hairline is really bad. So, I'm going to start out with my hairline. And then go back from there. I'm doing pretty good in the back. Get more of this little section in the middle top right here. That and my fronts be the worst. So like I said, I don't be too worried about the back. So, just put some of that. And this has like peppermint and stuff in it. Is it peppermint? Oh, rosemary mint. And so you can really feel that mint on there. Like you literally can feel it. So what I do with that is I normally just get in there and just start rubbing it in. Now you guys see why I cut my hair because I can really get down to the scalp when my hair is short. Then now, I'll take a little bit of this coconut oil, rub it on my fingers, and literally do the same thing. Literally just go through an oil and rub it in the scalp. Yeah, I normally would have a whole bunch of dandruff on my shoulder, but if y'all noticed, none. Look, look at that. Because I'm getting to my scalp while my hair is short, getting it healthy so when it grows back, I don't have to worry about it. But it's doing stuff like this and I need to do this more. There's some days where I get so lazy where I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna spray some water, put some moisturizer and then go about my day instead of like thoroughly going through my hair. I feel better with this, I feel better. And I don't mind the way that it is, I'm not going anywhere right now. I may go somewhere later, um, depending on the weather and stuff because it's supposed to be hot but anywho let me take my shower and get myself together hey guys i am out i am headed to um subway Going to grab a few subs to have for game day. Y'all see I got on my Packer shirt. <laughs> yeah, y'all, sorry. I had to let this girl walk past with her dog. But um, yeah, I got on my Packer shirt. So um, the hubby is got getting us some subs from Subway. And then I'm gonna stop and grab some barbecue chips you know to have for our sandwiches and stuff and so we'll have that for game day and then uh um yeah and then i'm gonna go home and do some work i'm gonna do some work because you guys saw that i had my um oh i need to hurry up i told them i'd be at subway by 11 it's 10 59 and i just left my house a little bit ago <laughs> but yeah I'm going to uh, do some work even while the game is going on the game starts in an hour uh, I was gonna go over there and film some stuff but I told myself I'll do it the next home game I won't even worry about it you know I live in Green Bay so it's not like I can't get over there during this season so I'll get over there one of these days and I'll film it for you 
guys because I just want to come back home and do this stuff for my business because it's been a long time coming but also um, I you know need to get I need to get going with with this process because the sooner I get these displays done the sooner I can start taking orders because I'll have stuff to show people what I can do I think I've expressed this multiple times and if if I sound like a broken record, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm just so geeked, you know? Man, God put this passion in my heart for a reason. And I am going with it. I'm surprised with all these people. There's still quite a few people out here for it to be game day in, the, in our city. I don't know. But anywho, let's me drive and get there safely and it's beautiful out it's gonna be a perfect day for a football but yeah knock this right out and get back home so i can get to work